Welcome to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightford, and this is Duarte Duarte Costa. I'm the wine producer of the Hervideira. Hervideira is my family enterprise, which I am the fourth generation. My cousin, fifth generation, and one potential importer. Uh, well, we are always friends, and in this family enterprise the best thing is everything is easy everything is good everything is chilled yeah life is good the life is really good the life is really good excellent so whereabouts uh, for our viewers whereabouts are we situated at the moment we are located in the Alentejo Alentejo is the south region of Portugal not completely in the south completely in the south is the Algarve we are in the north of Algarve, between Lisbon and Spain. Well, for who looks to the map, we are more close to the Spain than close to the sea border. Is the region of Europe with more sunshine days. We have a lot of sunshine since March until end of September. The our climate is sunshine every day. It uh, seems the opposite of England, so... Uh. It's more or less the England. <laughs> <laughs> it's always sunshiny. <laughs> uh, raining in April, we have a few days, really a few days. In May is totally unknown. June, July, August. If it rains a little bit, we say the climate is crazy. What it's raining in this period. We don't have rain then during the summer. Okay. So you mentioned to begin with that you uh, it's, it's a family vineyard. So has it been uh, a vineyard been in the family for very long? Yes, we have been. Uh, my great grandfather has begun to produce wines in 1880. Um, we have bottled wines uh, since 1890. We have uh, been producing wines until the revolution, until 74. And in 74, we have block, uh, stopped with the revolution. And now we have returned to produce wines in 1998. In 98? So exactly. In, in well, 98. more or less 20 years ago, we have re rebuilt this, en this enterprise. Wow. Okay, so put it almost from scratch again to, to, to where it is. Everything from zero, from new vineyards, new winery, everything is new. Okay, okay. So in in terms of uh, those 20 years, what has happened? Have you stayed stayed with the same amount of, um, the same volume or area of vineyards or have you increased? Or well, during that period between 74 until 88, when we have lost the properties, we have lived in Lisbon. Um, and when we have received back, uh, we have received with just the soils and we have begun to plant more. And now the new philosophy is produce different ones, unique ones, and we want to export to arrive in other parts to the world. The last generations, it were for consumers and pay salaries, just local. Okay. Um, in the until seventy four, we have paid a lot of part of the salary in wine, in olive oil, and with meat, with flour. But now everybody receives in money, and they buy the wines. It's easier. It's much easier. <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> so how many how many uh, hectares do you have? How many or how many vines do you have? Well, I'm a little bit crazy. I, I know that I'm crazy, and I've planted 160 hectares of vineyards. Whoa. 160 hectares of vineyards for a family is big. Oh, is sure. big, uh, which is able to produce one million two hundred thousand bottles. But Whoa. we are not selling this. We just are selling a part of this, uh, choosing the best ones to arrive to the market with something different, something really good. 
So you've gone from sort of volume to just focusing on quality and, and, and taste profile. The volumes is really important to harvest variety by variety and choose the best what we may produce. Then we want, we need the volumes, but the base part of the our wines we sell in bulk and we just stay with the our premium wines. Okay, yeah. It is not interesting for the everyday family work in big volumes. It is much interesting to produce unique, different things, different ones that you don't may taste in the other enterprises. Okay. And so, and so in terms of uh, the, the grapes that you use, are these traditional Portuguese grapes or do you use... Portugal is the country of the world with the biggest collection of local grape varieties. Portugal has more than 250 local grape varieties. We just have in the our vineyards 20. Only more a little bit of French grape varieties like the Shiraz, like the Cabernet Sauvignon, some Viognier, but this is just a little bit like to function like salt and pepper. The, our base, the, our main grapes are the local grape varieties. And this is more interesting. Also one thing, in Portugal, we always have the tradition to make assemblage. Assemblage is a, 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 a heart of the winemaker to choose the grapes and we know that one grape variety gonna evolu evolu have an evolution like this, another grape has another evolution like this, another grape has evolution like this. And when we make the assemblage, we choose the different grapes to maintain the one long time in the top. And this is a big heart, it exists in Portugal make assemblage. It's easy to have a Portuguese wine with made with four, five, six, eight grape varieties. Wow, so so you and that, that presumably comes with a lot of experimentation and a lot of experience. And this is like this is a the secret. This is good. It's not a secret, this is good. This is an art that we like to do. It make just a Chardonnay, just a Sauvignon Blanc. This is simple? Simple, everybody makes this, but a wine with four or five grape varieties that we are, you are not drinking a grape variety, you are drinking a good wine. And the one goes, uh, have an evolution during four, five, six, seven, ten years, and in the end of ten years, you say, oh, in probably is bad. No. In the end of 10 years, you say, wow, this is a great wine. This is a special heart that we have in the, our family and especially in Portugal. And I think I remember you mentioning earlier when, when I first uh, met you, you were saying that you've uh, opened bottles uh, many years old and presented them to journalists and they can't believe you're just opening a bottle and, and uh, prepared to risk uh, the taste. Mm -hmm. Always the our wines, the, especially the reds, uh, are wines to drink during 6, 8, 10, 12 years. But also the white wines. A um, few weeks ago I have opened a bottle of 94, 94, and it were a great white wine. Really? Yeah. A wow. great white wine. It's really crazy. Also, um, a f one year ago, we have opened three bottles, consecutive three bottles from 1928 f with journalists. And all the people have said, oh, 1928, it becomes a vinegar. And I've said, no, you're going to drink a really good red wine. But totally different. And when the people have tasted, I said, what is this? How is possible? And this is the, our region, this is the, our family, this is the, our tradition. You may have wine that you may drink it now, 
you smell it, oh, this is nice, this is good, color, good structure, okay, this is really good. But in the end of a few years, you taste and you say, oh, it's a little bit different from the same one that I have drank a few years ago, uh -huh. but it still continues good. And this is really special. Yeah, very special, very special. So how many different types of wine do you make? I like to dream, I like to make different things, and in this winery you may taste 25 different 25? wines. Wow. You may taste the uh, sparkling, sparkling white, sparkling rosé, uh, you may taste whites, red, rosé, uh, late harvest, uh, fortified wines, and you may taste a lot of different things. And when we dream, when we are making a wine, it's easy for us. If it's not good, okay, we put it out, we sell it in bulk, in the middle of the other wines, and it's okay, and we just sell what the wines that we like. I don't know if you're gonna like, but you're gonna taste, and you say, oh, probably it's not my wine, but it's a different taste. And what I like to see make is different wines. And usually the people like. But I respect if someone don't like yeah, one 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 or other one. Every, okay. every person has his own taste, so yeah. And I, I also know that you have um, almost like a very, very special aquarium. Yeah. Uh, thirty meter deep aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> Well, in Portugal, it, it exists the biggest lake of Europe. It's an artificial lake, but it's a dam, but it makes a lake. And is the biggest lake of Europe is the lake of Alkeva. In the Alkeva lake, is, it makes from the south for, till the north 80 kilometers that you may go by boat, traveling and passing a few days in the, that lake. And in this lake, we put 30,000 bottles maturing under the water. We put, you have tasted the red one, but we have also sparkling white wine, sparkling wine and white wine maturing under the water. The sparkling and the white just comes in out in December for Christmas, and we're gonna have these wines for Christmas. Uh, but we are maturing 30,000 bottles, wow. 30 meters deep, during at minimum eight months. Wow, that's very special, that's very uh, special. It's really special, really special, it's different. You taste one wine and you taste the other and you see, it's different. How it comes this history? This history becomes from the boat accident when a boat has a, an accident, if someone goes bring, make some scuba and goes bring some bottles from the boat, the taste is always different. And with this idea, we have made a, a first experience and we have put a few bottles, only 12 bottles. In that time, 25 meters under the water. And when we have tasted in the end of three months, oh, this is different. We have put the other bottles on, under the water. In the end of six months, we have said, what's happening? This is totally different. Let's go produce this. And this is the, our life. This What we like to do is different, unique ones. And I think the other lovely story that I picked up while I was with you earlier was that uh, you have a wine, which is the family wine, and uh, the number of grapes, uh, each grape represents a generation that you've been making wine. Yeah, the family wine is the Vigna del Videira. Vigna del Videira and the fourth generation is made with four grape varieties. Next generation, my sons, gonna make a, a new wine and it will be five grape varieties. Well, each generation we had another grape variety. It's a philosophy of generations. It represents the generations, the family. Yeah, I, it's I'm really important have uh, the blood, some some blood in the our alcohol, in the <laughs> our in the our wines which is passing here in the our veins.
<laughs> it sounds very good. So, in, in terms of your uh, market, you, is most of your market for um, uh, Portugal, or do you export as well? Well, Portugal is the biggest consumer of wine uh, in the world. We drink 40 liters per person. Per 40 day. <laughs> no, 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 per year. <laughs> well, per day is difficult. <laughs> You're very difficult. One, two, three bottles per day. Well, every uh, day is difficult. <laughs> yesterday, uh, yesterday it was my birthday. And uh, we have Happy been. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we, and we have been in, on the table, dining in a restaurant in Ebura. In Ebura, I, I invite everybody to come and to eat. If you like good restaurants, like if you like good food, please come to Evere. And I say to you a list of 20 good restaurants and you pass here 10 days lunching and dining, lunching and dining. And always happy. really, really happy. And we have been in family and have said, oh, we are seven. We're going to open a three liters bottle, a double magnum. Oh, Three liters is too much for seven, it's too much. Okay, we have drink only six bottles of normal bottles, but only six. Well, it's, it were for the dinner, it were practically one bottle for uh, person, per person. Per, per person. We have uh, good dinners from eight till 11, three hours dining, uh, eating, speaking, and drinking. Enjoying. Enjoying the Enjoying life. Enjoying life. Yeah, fantastic. Is, if someone comes to the Alentejo region and comes dieting, please don't come. <laughs> please don't come because the our region is to eat and drink. Drink and enjoy yeah. life. Enjoy life. So that's fantastic. So in terms of whether people can buy your uh, wine, do they do they go to your website? Um, we we have a website, erbideira.pt. I put And uh, erbideira.pt, you may buy wines for all over the world well we don't sell to canada and to norway and to brazil just because the customs don't leave the wine entry and we respect the customs but all the other countries we sell um, and the, the people buy one box two boxes and we send and immediately immediately they're gonna receive the, the wines fantastic, fantastic and this is easy in the, our website. Yeah, well, I'm having tasted the wines, they are absolutely delicious. Uh, they're very, they're, some of them are very quite unique and have their own character, and they are all those very, very delicious. I, I have, sorry, were you about to say No, 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 no. I, I was just going to say that uh, this, this channel is, is very much uh, focused towards uh, people that are beginning their journey in terms of, of wine making, which, which may have been a few years ago for you. Mm -hmm. um, but what would you say uh, would be uh, your, your top tip to somebody that's starting their, their, their journey of wine discovery? Well, I, uh, I like to make different wines, as I said, which assemblage, um, and they, the people may study the, our website and if they have some questions, please write on one email and immediately you're going to have an answer. And, uh, oh, please recommend me one wine for this dish, for this dish or for a birthday or something that I never have tasted before. And immediately we answer and we have a few wines that you never have tasted before in your life. Like this wine, totally transparent. When the people see here, they look, oh, they are drinking water. It's exactly this. This is the watercolor, but it's a white wine made from red grapes. The name of this wine is the Invisible. You can't read the wine. Uh, the label you can't read and you can't see anything in the glass. You s you think it is water, but it is a really unique wine. It is red, special. but made from whites. Also, the Vinho da Agua. Vinho da Agua is the wine which is matured under the water, and uh, in a few weeks we're gonna have um, uh, Branco de Inverno. Branco de Inverno. It is uh, a white wine for the winter 
it's a different uh, really structured white wine we want to make different ones if the people buy one wine then they buy another one to make a new experience the people like to make new experiences and yeah. the, our portfolio you have a lot of things to taste yeah it is, uh, yeah absolutely I, th I don't think that you know obviously everybody's taste is different but i, I think in the range of uh, wines that you have there will certainly be two three or more um i personally like them all two three or more that they will enjoy it's this very very excellent wine and i commend you for the the job that you and your your family have done in producing such wonderful wine congratulations sir thank you thank you very much this is a pleasure i, I always when i get up in the morning uh, i think well my boss paid to me to drink wines to create new things this is not a life this is a dream and and this is really a dream my boss paid to me to to dream to to drink wines to create to live in this fabulous town just to have one idea i live 30 kilometers from the winery 30 km okay 30 kilometers i take every day 20 minutes to arrive to the to the winery but if it is a lot of traffic i think take 21 or 22 minutes <laughs> <laughs> see how my life is good yeah. and my pa and my boss paid to me to live like this, this is, is good yeah it's great yeah and your boss being your wife I, i'm guessing <laughs> <laughs> It's all my family, and my family wants always good wines. Of course, always good wines, and it looks like they're they're getting it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your hospitality. And congratulations for your job also. Oh. And for all the people who are seeing this film, please taste also one time the our Ervideta wines. Okay, good, but taste also the other wines. It exists really really good ones in all over the world and so many different things you may taste every day one different one and you never taste all the ones in the world no that's for sure that's and for sure. this is a really great world the world of the wines it's a beautiful world yeah and with that guys we're going to sign off thank you very much for watching this and we'll see you next time chin chin thank you very much all the best chin. for you